Hello friends, welcome to another math video with Abhijay. And today we're going to learn how to do multiply any number, any number by 11. And once you get used to this trick, you can solve it in two seconds. I'm not kidding you, two seconds. Okay, let's start. Let me start with the simple number. So I'll first show you the regular way and then my super trick. Let's start with the simple example in the regular way. 25 times 11. Let's put in the regular way form. 25 times 11, like that, right? And now, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, right? So, if we add them and then we add them together, right? Add them together. 5, break it down, 5 plus 2, 7, and then 2, 275. 275. And that took around 15 seconds. So let's erase this and I'll show you how fast my trick is. I show you the same exact problem with the trick I learned. 25 times 11. Let's first bring down 2. That's our first number. Now let's bring down 5. That is our last number. And there's a blank. To solve for our middle number, we have to do the addition sentence. Two plus five, which is seven. Two, seven, five. So this took around three seconds. So let me erase all this, and we'll try a new example with this same method. Maybe let's do, uh, let's see, how about 63 times 11? Right? Okay, so we bring down the six. First number, bring down the three. Last number, blank, right? And six plus three is nine. There we go. Right, this is our answer. Let's think of a more challenging example. Let's see, 47 times 11, okay? Let's apply the same trick. Bring down the four. Right? Bring down the seven. So the four is our first digit and the seven is our, uh, our last digit. And we have a blank. So we remember we do four plus seven, which is 11. But we can't add, we can't put 11 there. So, we'll need, we'll need to carry over. So, we'll put the one here, and we'll put one, one here. And 417 is not our answer. We forgot to add the one. So, let's bring seven down, bring one down, one plus four is five. Here is our answer, 570. It was, this was simple, right? It's all you just need to do was this carryover, right? That was just um, an extra step to the problem. So this uh, method also applies to bigger numbers. Three digit numbers multiplied by 11 also works. So let's try three digit number multiplication. Let's take an example of a three digit number. 132 times 11, okay? So, we bring down the one, first digit, and then we do one plus three, which is four, which is our second digit. And then three plus two, since we add an extra step, since there's more digits than two. So we have to add this one together and three and two together in this case. So, and then three plus two, is five and then after that we bring down the two simple right one thousand 
1,452. Right? This is really simple, but let's try a three digit number with carryovers. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe let's try this. 174 times 11. Ready? So, we first bring down the 1. Always that's the first step. And then we have 1 plus 7, which is 8. 1, 8. And then we have 7 plus 4, which is 11. We have to borrow over again. So, we put 1 here, bring the 1 to the 8. We need to bring the 4 down, which is for our last digit. Now we just need to add that 1 to get our final answer. So 1 plus 8 is 9. So that's 1, 9, 1, 4. 1,914. Let's try a 4 digit number. When I say 4 digit, it sounds really complicated. But with this 11 technicals chick, it's easy peasy. As easy as pie. Let's think of one without carryovers. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay? 1,234 multiplied by 11. Bring the one down, first step. One plus two, three. Two plus three. Like how we said in the three digit, you have to add it. Two plus three, five. Twenty plus four. We have we have since we have an extra digit, we have to add it one more time, which is seven. And finally, let's bring the four down. We have our answer of one three five seven four. How simple is this? Look, you can try this with many numbers. Imagine how much time this would take with the regular way. And this just took so little time. And with this method, it would also take so little time if you even get a number in your test like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that, times 11. Now that you know this trick, you can even multiply this. And let's try that out right now. It's like 1,234,567. Um, two thousand two hundred thirty-four thousand five hundred sixty-seven. Look at that. But now we know this trick, it'll be simple. Right? This will take like like one minute with the regular trick. Let's bring it down. One brings it down. So one plus two. Three. Two plus three. Five. Three plus four. Seven. Four plus five. Nine. Five plus six. 11, one, bring that over. And then six plus seven, 13. So three, one. And looks like, oh, I forgot that step again by bringing the seven down. That is the last. We have to add the, the carryovers we've done. For the final answer, bring the seven down. Bring the three down. One plus one, two. One plus nine, ten. We have to add a zero and then put that one there on the seven. So eight, five, three, one. Our complete answer is 13,580,237. Wow, look at that. This took like five seconds. Since the big number took more time than it usually should take, because it's a humongous number, right? So now you all know how to do it, right? Let's start with a simple example. How about 42 times 11? Bring the four down. And then, we do four plus two. That's six. 
and then to finish off our ant soup, we bring the two down. 462. Ta-da! How about we do, let's try with the carryover. Let's see, 56 times 11. We bring down the five. Right, and then five plus six. Which is 11. So put the one and bring, put the one over the five and then bring the six down. We're, so, uh, we just have to add the one to the five, which the answer for us will be 660. Let's try a simple three digit number. 324 times 11. Okay, so we bring the three down. And then three plus two. Right? Uh, which is five. And then two plus four. And then after we do two plus four, we bring the four down. So let's first do two plus four, which is six, and then four. Okay, we've gotten that one now, right? Isn't it so simple? We're gonna do a couple more. How about we do an example of 37 times 11? Okay, so we have 37 times 11, right? We bring the three down to make it our first number. And then we bring the seven down to make it our last number. And then we do three plus seven, which is 10. And so we just had a zero there, and then one on the th three. And three plus one is four, bring the zero down, and bring the seven. Great. So our answer is 407. Let's try one more example. Okay, so let's create all our drugs. How about 576 times 11? Okay, so we first need to do this. Five, bring it down. 5 plus 7 is 12. So we write the 2 and we put the 1 over the 5 because we have to carry over. And now 7 plus 6, another carry over because we only write the 3 and then put the 1 over the 2. Okay? Bring the 6 down. So let's bring the 6 down, bring the 3 down. 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 5 is 6, and ta-da, oh, ta 6,336. So, isn't this so fun, doing this math trick? I hope you guys love this trick. Keep practicing and do your best. Okay guys, and keep learning math.